Hey sippers, welcome back. It's your girl, Star, Selby, and Tip. And today we're actually reviewing two wines from the Stella Rosa family. Um, we have Stella Blueberry and Stella Black. And we're gonna get started probably, start with the black this time. Black. Yes. Surprising. Delicious. This is so good. It's so fruity. It's so intense. <laughs> There's so much going on in my mouth. Yeah, it's like I, I'm actually like stunned a little bit because I thought it was going to be it's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be dry. I'm very nervous about red wines. I thought it was going to be dry, but this is so fruity. You can taste all kinds of fruit. You can smell it too. <laughs> you can smell it. Yeah, fruit. that's what it's not when we're pouring it. The blackberry, um, what else y'all taste? The raspberry. Definitely I definitely raspberry. can taste yeah. raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. And a slight, slight bubbly to it. Yeah, that's bit. that semi. <laughs> Very low alcohol content, about 5%. Um, when I was doing the research for Estelle Rosa, they actually do a low alcohol content for a reason because they wanted to taste more of the fruit than the alcohol, which they did a very good job with doing. Mm -hmm. I can I see where they were going with that, yeah, especially with wanting it to be uh, fruity. I see a scale actually too on back of both wines mm -hmm. there is a sweetness scale so it's right in the middle yeah it gives it on a scale of one to ten it gives it a five which is semi-sweet on their scale but i would say it's a full sweet yeah, yeah. someone like me who likes a little bit more drier this is completely sweet this is almost like a fruit juice with a little bit of alcohol content right. so you could drink as much as you want of this i would think <laughs> Like you feel like you're not even drinking a wine almost. It's kind of like, um, especially for those people who are used to higher content. I know the um, videos we've done prior to this were like on, on the like 12 and 13, 25 type of percentage of alcohol content. So those who are used to that, um, when you taste this, you're probably like, you know, this is juice. juice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is juice. That's, exactly. That's me. <laughs> I specifically, um, when I'm looking at wine. I do look at the alcohol content in the store, so it's not a surprise when I go home. Yeah. But a um, couple of our family members asked us to try the Stella wine, so we decided to do that just for them. Just yeah. for you. I can see this for the aunties. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> aunties. <laughs> Um, but I can see this, you know, for those who are like new to wines and don't really like those um, foreign, or they don't know too many mm -hmm. other different types of wines or dry wines. Or this wines is... that taste like alcohol. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think that's my mom. She doesn't like wines where she can taste the alcohol. Yeah. Um, she's not a drinker anyway. But this would probably be a very good wine for her because it literally tastes like juice. With a little fun uh, bubbly to it. Like, yeah. A little fun fizzy juice. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it is only five percent, um, it was about twelve ninety nine, so it's about the same as the other one, which is in our range. And it pairs with some of the same wines that are a little bit higher. So you have your cheese, you have your spicy food, and you have your sweets. So you can still pair it with pretty much the same as something that's higher content. I definitely could pair this with a, a sweet, like a dessert a cake pie. Cake some pie. <laughs> well, that time of year. So yeah, um, I think the black was excellent and I am very excited to get into this blueberry. So let's go. Cheers every drink. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much blueberry. That was taste. <laughs> 
<laughs> with that. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just giving you the blueberry and back to back. Mm -hmm. Want the blueberry? you look at that review. The blueberry was, uh, that was kind of the first one I've ever tasted that had such a rich fruit taste. I mean, this one is, um, okay. like I said, this one's sweet and very fruity. However, this blueberry is undeniable. Some wines, mm -hmm. you can be like, I taste it a little bit. Yeah, I hit, I hit. Right. Um, this one is very undeniable. You can't, it is, it is what it says it is. It's blueberry. Mm -hmm. And it still has that fizz. Um, that's fun. Yeah, a little fizz, more fizz, powerful yeah. than the black, but um, not so strong as more like a champagne or a sparkling wine. And they I say like this that. pairs good with like barbecue chicken, but... I'm thinking with the blueberry, I might have this with some pancakes and some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I, I wasn't I thinking that. that first way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with drinking. Please don't drink. In the AM. <laughs> okay. In the AM, yes. <laughs> or breakfast for dinner. Oh, right. You do that right. Right. See, breakfast for like dinner. Selfies with the same. <laughs> Selfies with the same. <laughs> Oh, well, if I do, okay. mm. juicy, but it's still smooth. Like it does, it's not hitting you in weird places. It's a smooth sip. It's good. Have you ever had like a, um, a blueberry ring pop or a blueberry um, Ooh, blow pop? Blue icy or blue, blue icy huggy juices. Mm -hmm. This puts me along the line of that. So if you don't like fruitiness in your one, don't steer clear of these. But if you like a lot of uh, Berry and fruit and things would be perfect. This is very blueberry. Very it's very blueberry. blueberry. It'll be good in the summertime too. I mean, I drink all year round anyway. <laughs> but you know, outside on a nice hot summer day with this nice and cold sitting on my porch. I feel like, I mean, it has alcohol in it, so I don't know if it would freeze, but I feel like I could make this into an icy. Yes, and actually, it would when, be great. When I was researching it, um, they had, they called it a blueberry frosé. Frosé? What you do is. <laughs> I need they, that. That's what they called it. What you do is you pour the wine in the ice cube containers, freeze it, then you blend up the frozen cubes a little bit, and maybe spritz in some vodka. <laughs> there is your blueberry frosé. Try it. Let me know how it is. I think this would freeze because the alcohol content it's is so low. low. Right. Yeah, this would freeze. This definitely would see something, something in there. Yeah, what you tell us? I'm telling you now. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so between the two, I think um, the blueberry might be my fave between the two, only because I'm so shocked that it has just this overwhelming taste of blueberry. And I'm not a blueberry person. I don't like blueberry muffins. I was going to call you out. But don't do that. Because I was going to call you out. I stand on my word. I stand on my word. I don't like blueberries. I don't like blueberry muffins. Blueberry pancakes. And here I am. I eat blueberries out of the container. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> but I like the black more. I, like I just the black feel like more that's too. more my vibe. I'm liking all the different berries I taste with black. It's not just blueberry. It's even there's actually a taste of blueberry in the black. So I do get a little hint of that blackberry, the um, raspberry. It's just it's a symphony in my mouth. <laughs> a symphony. Hello. <laughs> Where's that record scratch? <laughs> Stella Rosa is celebrate with friends and that is just perfect that is us and we love a good pun mm -hmm. we always celebrate <laughs> <laughs> and that's more, so the, that. that's more the feel of what we tried to give you guys today in this video usually um, we try to make things a little bit more structured give you guys a um, structured content and topics but today we were like you know what their tagline is celebrate with friends. Let's just be us. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to give you guys today. Us <laughs> all and uncensored. <laughs> Shooting the breeze. Yeah, How we much. chat, play sitting back. around. Drinking so formal. <laughs> <laughs> and actually we were uh, just talking about earlier, you know, with regulations probably coming back in place, how we're gonna continue on and things like 
like that, but how, because of everything that's going on, we've had more time to tackle things that we wouldn't have been able to otherwise, and one of those things was start this YouTube channel, because we wanted to start this a while ago. So we finally did, and it's been fun so far, because we're just doing this out of passion. So, um, it's been a really good experience, I think, so far. Yeah, it's like, kind when of we like first what started, we I was like, eh, <laughs> cringing at my voice, cringing at my voice. Right. It was had just like, it. Yeah. Had to get used to and that. And it is what it is. I mean, I, I don't care anymore. I'm putting myself out there. <laughs> this is my voice. This is how I look. <laughs> so. <You're> <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> I was thinking, like, why is anyone talk to me the way my voice sounds? It's so annoying. <laughs> but, hey, they got over it. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, we wanted to get, with all of this, I thought we wanted to capture us. Just us. I mean, we usually get together and celebrate normally. Um, so we just decided to film it, and I think that's the core of what we wanted to capture and provide for the people. It's just us on film with a little bit extra, but mm -hmm. I think we've been doing a good job keeping to ourselves and remaining true to what we do. And listen, listen to me like a professional, true to what we do, <laughs> um, to draw our craft. And being as though this is the pandemic. One, I get to see y'all all the time. <laughs> Not like that had changed at all, but you know, I really, really have a reason to see In the beginning, it kind of did. We were going like virtual happy. That's yeah. Why, oh, so yeah. We went, we went like, like what was that, time. like two, three months of not physically seeing each other? Listen, we, we, our yeah. virtual happy hours was like, we would get dressed up. <laughs> 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 we did get dressed up. I was in my room with my heels on. Forget to go to the room. <laughs> Mind you, our Monday happy hours are still going on even though we see each other. Yes. But I must say that that two, three months when this first when the first shut down and I wasn't able to see these ladies was absolutely devastating. Although the happy hours every week did make me feel a little better. You know, it's just not the same as sitting and touching. Yeah. <laughs> this pandemic is bringing out more of people's creative sides, right. um, more um, thinking outside the box because now you're not, your, your norm is crushed and, and you can't do your normal anymore. So no that caused us to have to think, oh, like, how can we do this but still be within what we're supposed to be in? Right. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, not seeing you guys is not an option. So <laughs> <laughs> you gotta figure something out. We get enough. And, you know, you gotta figure something out. And that's with other people in their families. There's some people right now that have family members in the hospital, family members in nursing homes and things like that. And they've been coming creative and trying to think of ways, you know, with FaceTime or um, Zoom meetings and things like that. I know with me, I'm an extrovert, so I need and crave interaction. I mean, I do have family at home, but I need other people too. <laughs> uh, I need these girls. I talk to my mom all the time. Like, it's just a necessity. So, um, I don't know how they did it back then, but I'm glad I'm not in those times. And I'm opposite uh, in the sense that I'm introverted. So staying at home and not really having many people to talk to, that's, I mean, I'm fine with that usually. I, I didn't realize until staying at home um, for months on end that it brought up more of a nurturing side. So with that extra time, I actually started fostering animals. And that experience was awesome with, <laughs> as I thought it was going to be temporary. However, <laughs> something just happened and I ended up keeping two kittens. So. Oh, and that's like with me during the pandemic, you know, I think I've stepped outside of my box with a lot of things, mainly things that, you know, have always been around, but I've never taken a liking to it. We've talked on a previous episode, hiking. Um, I was never an outdoor person ever. Even now, you can like, oh, yeah, yeah, I think I went on my first hike with y'all. Yeah, yeah, that, that was my first time mm -hmm. when we went with her. And I'm, I, because I have real bad allergies. I don't like bugs. I don't like spring. Right. I don't like all of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I thoroughly enjoy hiking. Um, 
so, so much that, you know, like I said before, I went on uh, hiking without them. Um, and I'm not like a, um, I don't have a green thumb, but I've taken a liking to plants. <laughs> <laughs> I've sure. actually taken a liking to plants where I have two that I named. They're Diane and Camille. Don't judge my name. <laughs> <laughs> Love those names. <laughs> um, just different things that I didn't think that I would know, like about, you know, taking interest in I would like that I'm just like uh, and it just and the list just grows as mm -hmm. the pandemic goes on so, uh, you know this is forcing you to look inside yourself and what can I pull out of this um there's so many negative things surrounding this one thing you gotta look at yourself and be like I gotta find something so, something to make this all worthwhile right. because if not you'll crumble yes you should appreciate toilet paper <laughs> toilet paper and paper towels. What even was that? I don't even <laughs> understand why people go for toilet paper. Listen, to you uh, <laughs> folks that decide y'all want to go in there and clean them shelves out because Hurricane COVID is coming through. Listen, you don't got to do that. The, the grocery mm -hmm. stores are essential businesses. Right. You don't have to. So you're not going anywhere. I promise you, you come in there next week. There's going to be at least a four pack for you. <laughs> and if, you if you run it, then stop using so much. <laughs> you shouldn't need that much. Stop using so much. Okay? Get it together. <laughs> Hopefully, this is, doesn't last too much longer for everybody. All right. Well, that was good. Yeah. I mean, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. So drink responsibly, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.